day, campers. Right now I want to go over this 2023 New Camp Cab 320 CSS. This is a clamshell with the shower. Let's check this out. All right, so I want to show you this 320 CSS by New Camp RV. Has a lot to offer, it's only 2,000 pounds. Starting right up front with a two inch ball, manual tongue jack, then we go with a removable wheel, and this does have the electric brake package on it. This one right here is a boondock edition and the blacked out series. So it's got the charcoal sidewalls, which is custom. The Boondock Series has this aluminum platform right here. Offers a spot for you to sit, a spot for you to attach things, or a step to access up top if you'd like to clean off your solar panels, which come stock as well. Front Stargazer window, that's a dual pane window that does open up. It does have a blind and a screen on the inside. Spare tire right here on the front. Handles on the sides. This camper is only 6'8 as far as width goes and 7'8 as far as height goes. Over here, we're going into the cassette toilet. This is a five gallon cassette toilet. Underneath, we do have four stabilizer jacks on each corner. Those are made to stabilize the unit, not lift it. Right here is going to be our side portal window. Vent for the bathroom. AM FM stereo antenna. Your Alda system exhaust. This is your furnace exhaust. Shore power plug. This is where we plug in our shore power or our power for the camper. Over here, we've got our Nautilus system, which is our magnetic door hold, and this is all of our water. Also inside of here, it has our water pump switch, our water connections, outside shower connection, cable and satellite connection over here, and we do have a light over on the side. It looks a lot more complicated than it is, I highly recommend just using it and realizing how simple it is with the diagram right there to tell you how to do everything. Into the back, this is the CSS, which stands for clamshell shower. Clamshell meaning we have the outside kitchen. Pass through storage, so I can load this thing up in the uh, convenience of the parking lot where I pull in, pack it right in. Then I can easily get into the side when I get home and put everything into the kitchen or into the bathroom or bedroom that I needed. But I've realized that people park close to you when you have these things because they're just cool. Seems like no matter where you park, they're next to you. And then you can't get into your door. So this makes it more convenient for everywhere. Plus it's great as far as the outside kitchen goes, you know, tailgating and snowboarding resorts and ski resorts. There's so many reasons for this. Plus, it breaks up the camper inside so you don't have your kitchen inside as well as your bedroom and your bathroom and your living room. So, differences though, the inside has less bed space. So, this one only has a queen size bed with the outside kitchen, where the S model has the king size bed with the inside kitchen. All right, so you put this down. We have the stainless steel sink here two burner stove with a glass top for more countertop space. Not tempered glass though, so don't use it with the hot stuff on it. Put a hot pad or a hot pad down. 12 volt fridge, runs off battery only. Up at the corners, we have our charging station. On this side is ran off from our battery with our six volt round plug and then our USB plugs. On this side is a household plug, your 120 outlets. Up top, we have our outside speakers on both sides. On the actual door, we have our LED light up top. Down below here, as much storage as they could offer. You'll see all the tech tubing in there. It's all color coordinated and they have the braided tubing as well, which is just a little bit higher end. Right there, 
there's the microwave. Now, closing this, very simple. Latch it on both sides, and they do have locks. All LED lighting. Underneath here is going to be our outside propane connection. It's still convenient and nice to have an outside grill if you want to cook burgers instead of getting grease all over that beautiful kitchen. All right, then we're going over here. I just want to point out that we do have this little rail system. This is for all the outside options as far as like tents, visors, and anything else that you can go on allproadventure.com and purchase just for the new camp product. So we have the special boondock decal kit on this with a mountain scape. Right here is going to be our lagoon style table bracket mount on the outside. Same one is on the inside, but when we have the bed down, we can always take that bracket out and bring it right here, use it out here. So then we have the outside 110 outlets. Over next to that, we have our awesome tires. These are on a 235, 75 inch Goodyear tire. So they definitely have some nice tires on there. On some really nice black and aluminum wheel with the nitrogen fill tire. On this camper, we do have the special boondock uh, fenders, the special boondock entry door handle with the boondock etched in behind it and the tubular style boondock uh, step as well. And that just pops right in. Then we're going into the 400 door. 400 door has a window, map holder, garbage, fire extinguisher. And one thing I did forget that I just want to point out in the front is this beautiful propane cover. Inside of here, we do have our propane 20 pound propane tank, our battery disconnect switch, and this is where the battery in the battery box would go. All right, now let's walk into the inside and I'll show you that. All right, now that we're inside, we'll start right up front. This right here is their dresser area with a nice countertop space, showing you the front stargazer window. We have some cabinets up top on both sides. We do have a little spot over here where we can run our wires down through into our charging station. You'll see the low profile wood and the nice hinges. They definitely don't skimp on quality here at New Camp. All right, right here's the other compartment. Again, for how small these things are, they're really offering you as much as they can for storage. A couple of shelves in here, and underneath the drawer. Over here, we have our wet bath. Inside the wet bath, you'll see that this comes down, well yeah, this comes down and goes right into here is with also your sink. Then you've got your sink, cassette toilet, light, mirror, window, toilet paper cover. Then coming out of the bathroom, we have our coat hanger or towel hanger into our entertainment. This is for our air conditioner unit. Heat and hot water that's ran off electric or propane. Then we go into our cabinets. Our Jensen stereo that's ran off Bluetooth, AM, FM radio. You can also, it's plugged right into your TV so you can run off HDMI. Little cubby spots wherever they can put them with lips on them so things aren't flying all over the place as we're driving. They really thought twice about this unit three times, four times. All the pass through storage. Again, very low profile wood, but all very heavy duty. All the 
the hinges that are hidden. Shelf up top. Reading light in the side. Speakers on both sides. Right here, just to show you the window. We have the screen going down. Blind going up. Dual pane windows. Pop it right open and it does go right out. Latch it up and hold it right here. It is a finger catcher. Be cautious there. There is a condensation killer is what I call it, which is a little stage right in the center that when you're camping, you can put it right in there. It'll let the unit breathe. That way you uh, can kill some condensation. Not wake up to the moisture because that's the worst thing for us. All right. Right here is your dinette with your lagoon style table. I will show you how to operate that in a second. Turn that into a bed and then back into the dinette. Doesn't take long at all. This table is the one that you can bring right outside. So when you take this out and use it for your bed, you can multi-purpose and use it outside for your outside table right over your porch. All right, we get over into here. All three windows do open right up. Over top near my head, we do have our 12 volt fan that runs off the battery. It does have three stages, three speeds in, three speeds out, intake or exhaust. All right, then right up here into our control panel. This is giving you your tank levels. This is also giving you your uh, battery level, water pump switch, water heater, and your light switch. All right. Right here is your smoke detector. And now I want to show you the how to operate the bed. All right. First is first, the lagoon style bracket. This is just like a ratchet system. So what we're going to do is loosen this up. And what I mean is we have these right here, and you want to loosen them up and tighten them up. And you bring out in order to open it, bring it back, then tighten it. Bring out, open it, bring back in, tighten it. You do have to use it a little bit in order to get the hang out of it. It's not hard at all to do though, okay? So that's your lagoon style table bracket. Then we have this nice open area right here. All we're going to do is lift this and pull out. We want to lift because we don't want to drag the table legs across the floor and scratch it. I put felt pads underneath my gauchos so I don't have to worry about accidentally scratching it or getting a piece of gravel underneath there. All right, so now we follow suit and do it to the other side. There, now we have the skeleton to the whole queen size bed. In the back, pull the cushions out in the front. Follow suit and pull the cushions out, okay? It's not difficult at all. And the hardest part is explaining it. Okay, now to put it back in, do it in reverse. Cushions up. These cushions are connected and they have Velcro to go against the wall with. Once you get those cushions put back, lift up so you don't scratch. Get over here, follow suit. Then with the back, you can keep it just like this and use it for a U-shaped dinette. Some people like to use this back for a little nightstand. I like the versatility. All right, so now you've seen the Tab 320 CSS. This is the clamshell with the outside kitchen that flips up. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. Keep on coming back for more.